Hi, everyone. Glad to be back here again for the second time in a row. Um, so again, independent publisher connectors are connectors that are built by anyone, whether you're an MVP or not an MVP. Anyone can build this and submit this as an official connector to the Power Platform, um, which is pretty awesome. We automatically deploy them to Power Automate, Power Apps, and Logic Apps, and users do not need to download anything extra. They can just use them out of the box with a premium license. And so um, since last time, we still have 15 connectors in production. However, three of them, uh, Jira Search, Etsy, and Secure Code Warrior, have uh, updates that are queuing right now to these connectors. So even though they've been deployed, again, you can always come back and add updates, whether you're the publisher or you're part of the community, it still counts as a contribution, which is fantastic. We still have Airtable, HubSpot, CRM, and Jira Search as the top three most used independent publisher connectors. Pretty exciting. Um, Airtable actually has more than 200 connections. It's just fantastic. So we're really happy to see this. And Wung is very happy as well. Um, and so in addition to that, we have a total of 17 connectors in the pipeline. So this is within the certification pipeline. So, you know, this sometimes it takes... It's super quick and it takes two weeks um, to go through the pipeline. Sometimes it takes slightly longer, um, depending on, you know, if there were any issues with the connector um, and when, during the validation stage or some something else had come up, um, right? So there's that back and forth between Microsoft and the publisher. So basically, so some of them have been in the pipeline for a bit. Um, but there are also two new submissions, one free agent by Nirmal, who is a first time contributor, which is fantastic, and EONET by NASA by Troy. And I believe Troy's on the call today. So hello, Troy. Um, those are two new in our pipeline. Um, and AccuWeather, which is one that Ahmad has actually also built, is going to be available soon. It's already in the deployment phase. So we'll see it definitely by next week anywhere on the Power Platform. In addition to just the number of connectors in our pipeline and those that are in production, we do have our first monthly coffee next week at 8 a.m. PT. I think it does, I believe it does conflict with one of the um, weekly PNP calls, but this is just once a month. You know, we're not definitely not going to do this, but we just found that this is the best time for um, both the publishers, engineers, and anyone is free to stop by. If you're interested in learning a little bit more, feel free to put your name down in the chat. Let me know. Call me out and I'll send over that invite. Um, we're starting small, right? And then we're going to start growing and growing in that monthly coffee. And, you know, whether you are you need engineering help, right, whether you need help build, building a connector, finding a connector to build that you think would really help you get on the leaderboard or help you become super popular within the Power Platform, or just want to stop by to learn more about the program and ask questions, you're always welcome to do so. So those are all my updates. I am going to pass it on to Ahmad. Right on. So today we're going to talk a little bit about the Yelp Independent Publisher Connector. And because this is the first time, I just want to introduce myself. So my name is Ahmed Najjar. You could call me Ahmad. Feel free to call me Ahmad. I, I won't be offended. Uh, I know it's difficult to pronounce. And uh, you call me the Flow Jedi. Uh, based in Oslo, Norway, I'm a Power Platform Architect and a Business Applications MVP since the 2017. Uh, independent Publisher, Connector, Project Coordinator. So I work closely with Natalie most of the time. So we have the monthly call and all those calls. In addition to that, I'm also a publisher, so I published a couple, and there's also a couple in the pipeline at my end. Uh, I'm a passionate, enthusiastic developer, heart and soul. Uh, over 15 years of experience working basic, basically with um, uh, Microsoft-based technologies, but I've been working with SharePoint for over 15 years. So I come from the SharePoint side of things. Over five years of experience working in the Power Platform, started doing sessions on the Power Platform and evangelism for the Power Platform since 2016. My first session was in 2016 about Microsoft Flow. Back then it was called Microsoft Flow. And I also work with Logic Apps because of the similarity of it, uh, you know, between the Logic Apps and uh, Power Automate. So I've been working uh, with that because I'm a developer, of course, I'm gonna be introduced to some to the stuff in Azure. Also events uh, and hackathons organizer. And this is my Twitter handle. Please feel free to follow me on Twitter. 
And I do respond to Twitter. I'm very active on Twitter more than the other platforms. All right. So what is what is Yelp? So Yelp allows you to connect to uh, businesses or content or points of interest in your local businesses across 32 countries. So it's not available in all countries, but there's a, a list of countries that it is available in. And if you want to search for specific businesses or specific items that you want to buy or purchase, whether it's co uh, content, whether it's points of interest, whether it's even like pizza or burger. So you could do that and search for that and it will return the businesses that serves or sells those items. So for the Yelp connector, what I've done, I've actually created uh, uh, the Yelp connector based on those services that you see here, which is find business matches, get business details, get reviews and search business phones, search businesses and autocomplete. And all those are actually published and in production as we speak right now. There are other endpoints. If, if you want to add to the connector, feel free. It's an open source. If you want me to add them, just you know, provide your feedback on GitHub. I'll get back to that and I'll just you know schedule when I could uh, push them as well as part of this connector. For this demo that I am going to show you in, in a minute, I only use the uh, get business details, get reviews, search business phones, and search businesses. I didn't use the find business match or the autocomplete. But basically all of them works ever since that they are in production, they are tested. So demo time. Let's go and see it. Um, let me just bring up my demo. So it's actually uh, my demo is in uh, Power Apps. So I, I am going to start my Power Apps. This is just pretty pretty much simple. Before before we go into the app, just wanted to show you that right out of the gate, you could just add those connectors uh, from here, and you will find them uh, or you'll search for those connectors in here uh, if you want to to add data uh, or you add the connectors. So we have the Yelp connector, which is the one that we have here. But we also have something that is called the open cage geo uh, uh, coding, which is something that you will find uh, in the near future in a, a repository near you. Probably I will be working on that to make this available as well as part of the independent publisher connectors. But what this does, uh, because I want this app to be working across uh, you know, countries and cross cities, so I've added this, so it will take your uh, longitude and latitude, and then it will return the city, so where you're based. So whether I don't want it to hard code, like for example, Oslo, where I'm based, or Stockholm, or you know Copenhagen. So instead of that, I've used the open case, so, uh, uh, so it, it returns the city. So uh, once I do that, so you will have the city, and then you'll search for the businesses. So I'll just run the, that up. And then I'll click on business search and it will return a list of items, you know, generic list of items. And ever since that, David and Stefan, they already started with the, you know, with the pizza frenzy. I'll do the same as well here. So we'll find some places in Oslo that serves pizza. And this is actually ordered uh, by rating, as you can see here. Um, and this is actually the categories that's listed. So this is pizza Italian. This looks fine. And it's just, you know, five stars, let's go see it. And then when you go there, I've used the get reviews. So you'll get the reviews for that specific business. And then you'll have some other details that are not available as part of the search. Like for example, the address, uh, the city and all that, is it pricey or not? And all those things are actually included in the overall rating for that and the rating as well that is given based on the users. So uh, from there, you can see that this is open and it actually gives you like live updates. And this is as part of the details as well. So this is going to turn red if this business is closed as we speak. But if it's open, this will actually be green. So I will just copy this for our next demo and let's just get back here to the home page and go to search. And then when I paste this, this basically just shows exactly the same business. When I open this up, we're back again here to the same business. So it's kind of like, you know, two ways to search your businesses. Uh, so whether by the phone or whether by, you know, a uh, point of interest. So you could just simply um, put here, like for example, um, burgers, you could just put pizza, conferences, whatever you please. You could put here and of course there's a lot of properties that are supported or dynamic content that is returned by the service but basically this is uh what i've seen that you could you could add as part of this application 
So this is pretty much uh, for the demo, but what I want to share finally is uh, the, um, the links, which is something that you'll probably find useful. If you want to go and know about what is Yelp or how it works, you could just go to the website there. There's also a developers uh, you know, section there. You could just go check it out. Uh, and as well, there's some documentation from Yelp themselves, uh, which is the Fusion API. You could just go check it out. There's also the connector documentation, which is the one that I've provided to Microsoft as part of this connector. But it, I, I, hopefully it's useful. But if you want to go see the API and go dig deep into those uh, properties and stuff for the API itself, you could just go check the Fusion API. And finally, last but not least, the connector itself on GitHub. You could just go there, just provide you know feedback or whatever. So you have the link over there. And that's for me tonight. I think that most of you are hungry at the minute because me and Stefan talked about pizza and David wanted to order pizza and I'm hungry myself. So I'll hand it back over to you, David. Awesome stuff. This is really, really cool. Love to see all the community collaboration and how you're setting this up to make it functional and useful in the real world. All right, uh, now I know what's gonna be on the menu for us when we all get back together at, a, at another event. Thank you.